Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the different ways to download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 23H2, also known as the Windows 11 23 update. So if you want to download the image to perform an in-place upgrade or a clean installation of Windows 11 with the latest update, you can complete this task by downloading the ISO directly from the Microsoft servers, you can use the media creation tool, or the third option is to use a third-party tool known as Rufus. Okay, let's dive into the steps. The easiest way to download the ISO file for version 23H2 is to download it directly from the Microsoft servers. And to do that, you need to go to this Microsoft support website. And as you can see, Microsoft has already updated the page so you can download version 23H2. And on the page, you need to scroll down. And from this section, select the Windows 11 option for x64 devices and just click the download now button from here we're going to select the language for the installation in my case english and then we're going to click the confirm button and then simply click the 64-bit download button to save the image on your computer And as you can see, the ISO file is around 6.2 gigabytes. And this could take some time to download depending on your internet connection. The second option to download the ISO file is to use the media creation tool. However, here's the caveat. The tool will be updated on November 15, 2023. If you use the tool before this date, you will get version 22H2 in the ISO file. So you have been warned, just use this tool after November 15. And to use the media creation tool to create an ISO file, you need to go to this Microsoft support website, which is the same that we use to download the file directly. And then we just need to scroll down and under create a Windows 11 installation media, create the download now button, save that file to your computer. Once the file has been downloaded, open the location for the file, double click the executor file to launch the tool. Then we're going to agree to the terms. I'm going to use the default settings, but you can also uncheck this option and change the language. The addition is the same, so you can change that. Then click next. Here we're going to select the ISO file option, and then we're going to click next. We're going to select a folder to store the file. And then the media creation tool will proceed to download the installation files to create a ISO file for Windows 11 version 23H2. After the application completed the process, you can just click the finish button. And the third option is to use the Rufus tool, which you can download from this page. From this page, just download the latest version, save it to your computer. And then we're going to open the folder where you downloaded the file. We're going to double click to run the application now we have to select the download option but if you don't see it go to the settings and make sure that check for updates is set to daily you might need to restart the app in order for the settings to take effect then click the download button then from the menu select windows 11 and then click continue then select the release in this case the 23h2 and click continue Choose the edition. For most people, it's just going to be the Home Pro and Education option, and then click Continue. Then you're going to select the installation language and click Continue. For architecture, we're just going to select the x64 option. And in here, because we're just downloading the ISO file, we're going to check the download using a browser option and then click the download button. Then we're going to select the destination folder and I'm just going to change the name because I already have that file downloaded and I'm going to click the save button. And as you can see, now we're downloading the ISO file for version 23H2 and this is from the Microsoft servers, as you can see right here. And that's it, those are the three ways that you can use to download the ISO file for the latest version of Windows 11 in 2023. Now, just a final tip that you can also use the Rufus tool to create a bootable media. And if you downloaded the ISO file, regardless of the method, 
you can open the tool and use the select option and then just browse the folder where you downloaded the ISO file. Select the ISO image and click open. Connect a USB flash drive of at least eight gigabytes of space and make sure that nothing is on it because it's going to get overwritten by this process. Then you can use the default settings. If you want to show a label for the USB drive, just name it Windows 11 23H2 USB. Everything else you can leave default and then click the start button. If you plan to install Windows 11 on a computer that supports the operating system, you can ignore this option and just click OK to create the USB bootable media. Now, if you have a computer that does not support Windows 11, you can check this option right here. And also, if you want to use a local account, you can choose this option and you can even specify the name of the local account that you want to create when using this bootable media. You also have different options and you can turn them on and off, but depending on your preferences. And that's it. When you're ready, just click the OK button. And the application is going to erase everything that is on the USB drive and it's going to create a bootable media for Windows 11 version 23 H2. And that's it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.